Louisville hospitals are likely to reach the highest number of COVID-19 hospitalizations this week. WDRB's Travis Ragsdale shows us the strain that it is having, not just on healthcare systems, but really everyone. Travis? There could be more than 400 patients in Louisville hospitals with COVID-19 by the end of the week, and the vast majority of them are unvaccinated. COVID is everywhere. And the strain on area hospitals is only getting worse. Let's start with Baptist Health. As of last week, there were 479 COVID positive patients system wide. 82% of them were not vaccinated. At Norton, there were 233 COVID positive patients in the hospital. That's the most COVID patients the hospital has ever seen. 90% of them are unvaccinated. UofL Health is seeing similar numbers with 162 COVID patients in the hospital. In spite of all that, though, there is hope. Our case counts have stopped that doubling every week and are starting to level off and trend down, and we know that hospitalizations hopefully will follow. But at least for the next few weeks, those hospitalization numbers will continue to rise. But physical health is not the only challenge that COVID-19 has created. This pandemic has had major effects on all of our lives, um, some more than others. Seven County Services is seeing more calls than ever. In 2020, the full year of the pandemic, we answered just around 71,000 calls. Compare that to the 61,000 calls that the mental health facility saw in 2019, and it's not letting up. Just in the first seven months, so just a little over half of the year, we've already handled over 51,000 calls. The number of suicides in the U.S. declined by 5% in 2020. Marked with National Suicide Prevention Week, mental health pros are stressing that there is help for those who need it. It's that they're having isolation problems. You know, they're cut off from their normal support systems because of the pandemic. We'll link you to a variety of mental health resources on our website at WDRB.com. We're live in downtown Louisville. Travis Ragsdale, WDRB News.